Hi. Now what we have here is a question based on solving a modulus inequality. We've got to find the set of values of x for which the modulus of x squared minus 4 is greater than 3x. So if this is a question you'd like to do and haven't done so already, as usual, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video, come back when ready, and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. Now, if you want to just go to the answer, just fast forward to the end of the video and you can check the work solution. But if we're going to work through this, there's many ways that we can solve modulus inequalities. But the way that I'm going to show you here, which I think is generally the best method for the majority of these types of uh, inequalities, is a graphical method. So what we'll do is we'll sketch our y-axis and our x-axis, something like this, OK? And we start then by drawing, say, the graph of y equals the modulus of x squared minus 4. Now, if we were to draw the graph of y equals x squared minus 4, normally it'd be a u-shaped parabola, crossing the x-axis at, say, two points here, minus 2, and 2. And so our parabola would be essentially something like this, coming down like so. But because we've got a modulus around it, then all these negative values for y would become positive. So what we get is a reflection of the bottom part of the parabola in the x-axis. So you're going to get a graph and it looks something, say, like this. Coming down here, and then normally it would carry on underneath like so, and then back up like this. Meant to be symmetrical, but this part is reflected in the x-axis, and it's going to look, say, something like that. So this would be the graph then of y equals the modulus of x squared minus 4. Now, on top of this, we're going to superimpose the graph of y equals 3x. So that's a straight line graph going through the origin. I'm not going to draw it totally to scale here, but just do something like this. So there's our line y equals 3x. But I can clearly see that it's going to cross the red curve here in two places. These two places, we'll say here, we'll call it A, and this point here, we'll call it B. Now, what we're looking for in this solution is essentially where this graph, the red graph, is greater than the green graph. And this greater than, we can interpret as being above. Where is the red graph above the green graph. Well, I can see that it is going to be above the green graph when we find, say, this value of x here, and we take the values of x greater than this value here, OK? Because this part of the graph is above the green graph. And I can also see that if I find this x value at a, then this part of the red graph is above the green graph for the values of x back from here. So I've really got to find these values of x at a and b, the points of intersection. So that's our starting point now. What we're going to do is we're going to look at trying to find out the coordinates of a. And at a, we're looking at this part of the graph, OK, of the parabola where it intersects y equals 3x. Now, this parabola here would be the negative of all of x squared minus 4. So what we've got is minus x squared plus 4, OK, is going to be equal to 3x. So if we solve this in the usual way, just by rearranging it, we're going to have x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals 0. And if we factorise it, we're going to have two brackets. And in these brackets, we're going to have x minus 1 and x plus 4. And that's going to be equal to 0. Solving this leads to x equals 1 or x equals minus 4. 
Now, you can see that at A, since we know the x coordinate has got to be greater than 0, let's just put this down, since x has got to be greater than 0, clearly the solution here has to be x equals 1. The solution for x equals minus 4 is essentially where this inverted parabola, if you can imagine seeing it here, crosses the graph, which would be about here, say, it would be at negative 4. But we're not interested in this point of intersection. It's this one here. So that's at the point where x equals 1. OK, we need to go on to look at b next. So if we just uh, come down here, let's have a look at b. Now, at b, we know that we're looking at this part of the curve intersecting y equals 3x. So that's going to be the positive version of x squared minus 4. So we've got x squared minus 4 has got to equal 3x. And if that's the case, rearranging this, we therefore have x squared minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. And factorising this gives us two brackets equaling 0, we'd have in the first bracket x plus 1, say, and in the second bracket x minus 4. And this leads to the solutions x equals minus 1 or x equals 4. Which one do we pick here? Well, again, we know that at b, the x coordinate's got to be greater than 0. So since x has got to be greater than 0, clearly x must be equal to 4 at b. So we, we've got our values. We see that at A, we've got 1. We can see that at B, we've got 4. As I say, it's not drawn to scale. That's not the purpose of this, just to illustrate our points A and B. So we're looking then for where the red graph is above the green graph. And I said at the beginning of the video that this is where x is less than this value, which will be x is less than 1, and it will be more than this value here, 4. So if we just write out our solution then, we'll, I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll just say, so if, we'll just recap on the question, if the mod of x squared minus 4 is greater than 3x, then what we have got is that x must be less than 1, or x must be greater than 4. OK, two distinct sets of values. Try not to use the word and here. OK, it's an or situation. So I hope that's given you an idea on how we can take the graphical method then for solving this particular modulus inequality. All right.